Good morning and welcome to your home and finance show. And above all, thank you for tuning in. We are your host, I'm Janice Bradley, JB Real Estate Consultants and co-host. Diana Rice Wilkerson with Fairway Mortgage. This show is designed with you in mind to provide you with current and credible information about buying, selling, refinancing, renovating, building a home and credit. This is in regard to home ownership, as you know, and you know that home ownership creates wealth and legacy building. So let us help you with every step of the way, from the pre-approval to receiving your keys at the closing table. Well, I'm Janice Bradley again, I mentioned that, and um, just wanted to let you know a little bit about what I do. Uh, I'm your personal real estate professional. Um, from buyers, I have 30 years of ex experience, excuse me, and I'd love, love to negotiate and be your advocate in helping you find your home and creating wealth, and, wealth uh, ownership, kind of stumbling a little bit and giving your keys to, this, uh, to closing. With your sellers, what I'd like to do is that help you with your negotiating, getting, making sure that we can put that sold sign in your yard. So let's go on with the show. Uh, Diana Rice Wilkerson, what are we doing today? Well, this we have the honor of having uh, Deborah and Tracy Tyler in the studio. And they are clients of ours, Janice. Mm -hmm. and we would consider them probably out of five stars, maybe about six stars. Six, yes. I would say. I was and going to say seven, but you know, you said five. Okay. <laughs> and they're going to share their story uh, mm -hmm. with our viewers because they are just the epitome of borrowers, um, homeowners who have experienced some of the things that we're trying to encourage, our, especially our first time home buyers, uh, to experience because they have been homeowners and they've owned for a while. So we're gonna be talking to them about that process, becoming uh, homeowners, as well as they've also tapped into their, to their equity along the way. Yeah, uh, good So they're building wealth uh, through a homeownership and they're also experiencing the benefit of their equity as well. So welcome, Deborah and Tracy. Thank you, Thank good you. morning. Good morning. We Thank so you. appreciate having you today. <laughs> so let's go on with you. some uh, questions about you too. Okay. So when did you first purchase your first home? Uh, around 2004 in Virginia. Okay. All right. And um, I'm prior military. I All was right. in the Navy. Ah, and thank uh, you for your service. Yes, I tell people I went by Navy and stayed by baby. This oh, my baby. there he goes. Okay, and, fantastic. And, uh, uh, I worked in Virginia after I got out of the service. I worked in Virginia for about 20 plus years. 23. 23 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you know, with family and everything starting to become older, I had nieces and nephews that didn't know me. I was just that big uncle that would okay. come in with that big voice, so they would hide up under the yeah. bed. <laughs> oh, wow. And I told my wife, I was like, you know, I, I really want to know them. You know, it's another mm -hmm. generation coming up. And so we decided to move back home. This was around 2013. 2013. Wow. Good. I don't and know if I knew that, that yeah. you were originally from here. You yeah. know, we talk yes. about so many things. Okay. Yes. I'm actually from Gary, Indiana. Yeah, well, that's still yeah, here. That's here. Gary, yeah. everybody yeah. in that's, Gary that's lives in same. Indianapolis. Yeah. So, that's yeah. That's it. Everybody, <laughs> when I came home, everybody from home was up yeah. here. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. so, absolutely. Um, we came up originally and uh, we stayed with my brother for a while uh, until we wanted to see where we wanted to live, what area we wanted to live in. So uh, I was in contact with someone else and the experience was just really not well uh, uh, for us. Mm -hmm. So after that kind of fell through, I remember I was riding home and I heard your show and you all just the voice, oh the invitation, goodness. and oh. the wealth of knowledge. And I was like, you know what? I called my wife. I was like, listen, I just heard these two women on the phone. <laughs> I was like, they, they said it was, uh, they said their name was Janice and Diane. <laughs> and I was like, we, you know, I told them what time, and she was like, okay, because this is my, like, uh, she does everything. Mm -hmm. She makes it happen. Mm -hmm. So she got in contact. I believe you can tell that what you did. When they after. read it, I could tell that timeline yes. if I get that off. Go of ahead. Yeah. I'll, go ahead. I'll, well, before you do, yep. mm -hmm. I want to go back to Virginia. Is yeah. that where you bought your first home? Yes, it was. Okay. And kind of what caused you to reach out to, what was, what was in your mind at that time in terms of buying your first home? Well, um, you know, 
it's sometimes a shame when we come up, you know, our parents can, they teach us a lot of things, mm -hmm. but my parents in particular never really spoke to me about a home buying mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, my grandmother paid the bills. So when I got older, I learned that she had like paid a mortgage off nine years early. Mm. My grandfather had wow. no clue. <laughs> <laughs> so That's when I the case. Yeah, so when I started to walk through the home process of, you know, we had children, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they needed space, they mm -hmm. were on top of each other. And of course, you know, uh, I come from grandparents that had home, had a home. Yes. Yeah. So Good. that's all I knew. Good. You know, yep. I was like, when we were written, I was like, this written stuff is not yeah. cool yeah. for me. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so we started going through that process, and in that process, I learned like having been a veteran, having my VA uh, availability for mm -hmm. my home buy. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where I actually learned about the. Uh, uh, certificate of eligibility. Yes. That lets the veteran know how much they qualify for. Right. To purchase a home. Okay. And so with that, we just went through the home buying process mm -hmm. in VA, uh, in Virginia, I should say, mm. and we were in our first home in, 20, in 20, 22, mm -hmm. yeah, 24, And did you sell that when you moved to Indy or did you keep it? No, we had been, we had sold the house, okay. and we had been out of it for a while before okay. we came to Indiana. Got you, got you. Know. you. Okay, yeah. so that's good. I mean, that's yeah. what we a hear. Veteran, a veteran, and we want people to understand yeah. the veteran the situation. Veteran benefit. Because and what about the VA benefit? I mean, just basically share with uh, our viewers what what do you get if you're a veteran in Sometimes. terms of the financing piece? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> in terms of the financing piece, uh, I remember that. When they when we first started, that the financing or the home loan was secured by VA, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so therefore whatever lending institution that we went with, uh, VA backed back the that, loan. Back the loan. Yep, they do. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's key. And, and so, that is key. no down payment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, yes. Right. no down payment. We like yeah. that, right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. Could, because okay. I didn't think that was real. possible. I was like. So we get to get this home and don't pay anything down. I, right. I was like, Lord, so yeah, <laughs> I was excited. Which I think is such a beautiful benefit, along with many others that veterans get. Many yes. times they don't know about yes. them. Yes. Yes. So right. this is one of the reasons. And the other thing is many times, well, we'll get into that because um, some people think, some veterans think you only get to use your benefit once. So when you moved to Indiana, <laughs> let's mm -hmm. go there. And that uh -huh. was mm -hmm. when in 2004. 13, we moved here in 2013. 2013, mm -hmm. and you bought a house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They bought, bought a, a nice house. house. Well, then, actually, when we moved here, uh, we began to um, repair our credit. You know, mm -hmm. being young, you do some things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've learned, we've learned that mm -hmm. you don't buy what you want, you buy what you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not necess a necessity for you to just go out and get everything on a whim that you want, mm -hmm. that you see, but mm -hmm. you buy what you actually need mm -hmm. to uh, facilitate your life. Mm -hmm. So when we came back, when we came here, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't know anything about the home buying process here. Nothing. Because you know, from different areas, there are different laws, different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. that, and the VA is very stringent about protecting the veterans. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. You know, so. When we came here, we started to repair some things. We were working on our credit, doing everything that we needed to do to get into position to buy a house. And so therefore, when we contacted, Deborah reached out, there was a to-do list sent back. A little bit of homework? Yes. <laughs> and so we did those things. Uh, we, we did those things and do dove into it head first mm -hmm. so that when we reached back out, which was about what, eight to, yes. eight to 12 months? Can I just give that little nugget? Yes. Can I give that nugget? <laughs> okay, so when we heard you on the radio, it was June 2015. Okay. Yeah. And when he shared the information, I sent you all an email that evening. Mm -hmm. And I heard this and I want to know. And this list that came back was like this, and you call it the analysis. <laughs> And it had a lot of things. And I'll never forget, it was June 2015. We sat down, we went to the table, we looked at it, you say, take care of this, and then reach out to me. 
reached back out to you all June 2016. I remember you saying that. And we closed 45 days later. Because mm, you pulled God. it, you say you did it all. Yeah. So yeah. I just yeah. want you yeah. to know, we yeah. followed the leads of the experts. Yes. We don't even have to have the show anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. You, know, you have covered, you have, seriously, you okay. have covered so many things that we do talk about and we try okay. to share about because it sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. Okay. But just the very fact, you know, of taking the time to do what we need to do. Yes. And we're not taught that. And, you know, yes. we were talking about financial literacy, and that's another subject. Yes. You know, Absolutely. we all know about that, yes. you know, just getting us exactly where we need to do. So you, you're covering the fact that you're a veteran. Yes. You're covering the fact about, you know, having to make some uh, adjustments, you know, to Absolutely. your life. You know, you're talking about the fact of a first home, a second yep. home. Yeah. And now we it. can kind of get into some <laughs> other things to talk about with okay. you guys. Can okay. I go back to the home that you sold in Virginia? Mm -hmm. Did you walk away from the table with money? Yes, we did. That mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. And the reason I asked that question, because I know for a period of time, mm -hmm. people were walking, people were bringing money to the table mm -hmm. in this industry. I mm -hmm. didn't know if you got caught up in that or not. Mm -hmm. But again, just for people to know, even if that's the case, mm -hmm. you can do it again. Mm -hmm. You yes, know, it's you like once you have that home ownership experience, it's also mm -hmm. something that most people want to, no matter how they maybe no longer have it, no matter what circumstances led them to no longer having it, mm -hmm. they oftentimes want it back Absolutely. and so the only thing I like about this this list that you uh, worked on for a year mm -hmm. is encourages folks that are viewing that you know that you can do it yes. it's just a matter of knowing what to do, what to do. and yes. then do what you've been asked mm -hmm. to do yes. mm -hmm. um, and the and like if you had to make lifestyle changes or budget changes because I think a lot of folks buying today mm -hmm. because of the price home prices of homes going up and rates mm -hmm. it's just going to be a matter of redoing your budget yes. you've got to have a place to stay absolutely. you absolutely yes. have to yes. so. and can I can I tie back into some because I, I really like to be forthcoming uh, when we walked away from the table with the first home it being by us being young and it being the first home there were some mistakes made so we didn't walk away with as much money. And this is what ties in. When you have someone like yourself that said, that's why we have kept the connection. Yes. When you have someone of integrity that gives you the right information, you really have to keep a connection with them yeah. in your home process and your home buying because we didn't have that. We didn't. And so some of the information that we received, because you know that around that time, that's when the housing market crashed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it flipped upside yeah. down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So due to the information that we received, we weren't able to walk away like from it like exactly. we needed to. <laughs> right. That's mm -hmm. how come when we had to come here, we mm -hmm. had to start rebuilding mm -hmm. and repairing mm -hmm. these sure. things. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you have to have someone. It is that's what I would state to anyone buying a home. It is imperative that if you get someone who has integrity, mm -hmm. you stay with them. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, you just don't buy the home and then walk away. No, you stay with them, you keep that connection. Yeah. I still follow you guys, listen to your shows, <laughs> because <laughs> your knowledge is always evolving is. on Thank the real you. estate market. Yes, yes. You know, yes, it is. And we any decision that. I make going forth in the house, I make it with you, yeah. because I know I'm gonna get the best advice. Well, we love what we do, and it's a, and indeed a compliment but the whole point of the show also is to educate the community. Yes. But you know, you're all supposed to share that information also. Yes. We want the listening audience to share whatever yes. they have learned. You know, yes. for somebody, what did they say? Teach one. Yeah, teach one, teach one, teach one, teach one, teach one, teach one, one. Yeah, teach one, because yeah. I will mess up the same, <laughs> but I know them in my heart. The heart is right. Close yeah. enough is good enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's my standard now. Yeah. Exactly. Close enough is good enough. Close enough Absolutely. is good enough. Absolutely. You know, but thank you for sharing that for us, because again, we, we do love yes. it. We do love what we do, and um, it's our mission, yes. and it's our ministry. And yes. you know, we, we hey, we've been through life just like anybody else, yes. you know. So yes. it, it makes us we know, we yes. understand. Yes. And again, you know, we're always talking about and I, I, I love it where it says in the Bible that you do go through different seasons of yes, life. You, do. you know, so it's also Bible verses based based, you know, yes. that home ownership. God wants yes. us to have home ownership. Yes. So anyway, and can I just add one piece yes, of that? Of course. God wants us to have home ownership. I truly believe that not only for us to own our own place, but this is the this is where your wealth building starts. Mm -hmm. yes. This is so instead of paying rent each month, and nothing's wrong with rent as long as you see it as a temporary situation, right. not a permanent situation. So instead of you paying rent each month, 
that you really don't get any benefit out of other than, and it's a blessing to have a place, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but you don't own it. Right. When you're buying, you're now really wealth investing building. in yourself yes. and wealth, wealth building. building. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, well, he's already said it. What I love about this is, you know, you said your grandparents, yes. you know, and yes. we've done studies, you know, where it just shows that uh, um, your majority of homeowners have had some type of a uh, wealth building for, uh, that was taught to them from parents or grandparents mm -hmm. or something of this mm -hmm. nature. So they, they, it's kind of in them already, yes. you know. Yes. They, I, I, my parents didn't own a home, but I do remember my grandfather, you mm -hmm. know, and I thought it was the biggest house ever. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know and, and we sometimes had to live with them. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, found out that the bedroom that we thought we were all in was a dining room. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I so yes. yeah, you know, it, it, again, we're, similar, we are yes. all in this together. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Together. Absolutely. So, um, fast forward to a couple of years ago, two or three years ago now, mm -hmm. I want to say, when you guys reached out Absolutely. and we talked about refinancing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so this, this, um, this was where we'd like for you to kind of share okay. your thoughts around what made you decide you what, maybe refinancing was a good idea. Absolutely. It could have been lower interest rates, money back. It could have been a variety of things, Absolutely. home improvements or whatever. Absolutely. But talk to us about that, utilizing your equity. Well, again, like I say, you know, uh, we were talking. There were some things that we wanted to do in the home as far as updating mm -hmm. and um, far as doing some small projects. Mm -hmm. And again, I told Deb to reach out to you. <laughs> uh, That's the to statement see, first. Yeah, I told yeah. Deb reach out to you to see what would be beneficial for us. Yes. Where the uh, market rates were, you mm -hmm. know, because I didn't want to go over mm -hmm. in, in my rate. I didn't want to do anything like that. Uh, where we were credit wise, we monitor that daily. <laughs> Uh, and keep that tight, like yeah. locked up. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have to, uh, and we don't spend, we don't have a, a large debt to ratio. Mm -hmm. Try, And so I told her to reach out to you and see if it would be a good time, yes. uh, depending on where the market was. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she reached out to you, you told her, you say, well, let me, let me look at some things, <laughs> let me pull some figures together, give me a couple of days. And sure enough, you came back, you say, well, yeah, it would be a, t you know, you could do this. And uh, this would be the rate. Mm -hmm. Do you want to move forward? Mm -hmm. And we said yes, because like I said, accessing the equity to yes. update and upkeep the mm -hmm. home is really beneficial to you. Very beneficial. Because in the event that you want to sell the home, mm -hmm. you don't want to have a crash course in trying to update things and trying to fix things because that lessens your money at the table mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you walk away and from it. And add stress. Yes. on yes. your whatever you're trying to do it's kind of yes. like on your way out you're trying to fix yes. these things yes. you know yes. that's that's a that's a lot of stress i remember um when your appraisal came back i think it was subject to having it was something to do with the debt yes i want to talk about that because <laughs> not there's sometimes in most cases there's a bumpy road through uh -huh. the mortgage process <laughs> this is just keeping it real but that's what we do we we navigate and support yes. you through the bumps yes, it's like did. okay you yes, can get did. janice yes, tells her did. clients don't panic until i panic yeah, right. <laughs> you know, she, thank, you. <laughs> thank you no that's good that's she good. said don't yeah. panic until yeah. so i think it was and, and and i think your plan was to actually replace the deck right and the appraisers coming in saying do something with the deck now, now. now. And, and it was like it was we, it was a real coordination effort it was, it was and so it I think was. you painted the deck we did yeah, just, I, so, I, we just, I, and I, so we did it guess what I did I look back I'm like but no, we really did. We, <laughs> Actually, Tracy, you and the boys, were the, yes. you and the boys painted the deck, yes. so we could get a final inspection, so we could yes. get to the closing yes. table. My goodness, oh, we I, rem that I remember exactly all what that about was. A deck. Of all about and a deck. that's actually what, because of VA, VA said that that mm -hmm. there can be no uh, exposed or chip paint. Paint, yes. exactly. And yep. so exactly. they were like, they came back and they wanted me to repair the deck because it was mm -hmm. chipping mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was in a degraded state and I was like come on that's what I want the money for I want yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, yeah, okay. and okay. so she's yeah. like babe what you gonna do I was like well I'm gonna paint the deck yeah. 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 so yeah. I chipped the paint off the we, uh, rest of the chipping time, paint and we had, yes we did we had a large deck so I had to repaint the entire deck yes we did and then after I chipped and 
said it and repainted it. She was like, that really looks good. You know? And I was like, man, maybe I don't need a day. Like, yeah, spend the money someplace else. But, yeah. Yeah. but that's yeah. what we yeah. did. Yeah. And, um, Fantastic. Yeah, we did that. I am so glad, though, you brought that up about VA's requirements. Mm -hmm. You know, again, mm -hmm. you know, how they're protecting you. And, yes. you know, Diane, Diana had mentioned earlier in a conversation that we were having about FHA appraisers also, you know, making sure that, you know, especially when it comes to um, habitability issues and what yes. have you, and that chipping paint, of, of course, you run into possibly, yes. you know, where it could be lead-based paint or things Correct. of this nature. Absolutely. So that's a lot of times what yes. they are looking okay. for. Mm -hmm. But yeah, oh, yeah, you yep. I mean, I, I'm just blown away just knowing that that came out on an appraisal about a debt. A re I mean, uh -huh. I mean refinancing, uh -huh. refinancing. Yeah. So I can see it if did. it was a new house. Right. I mean, not, you know, not a brand new house, but a new yes. purchase. Yeah. Yeah. But you're refinancing yeah. and you want my debt paid? Yes. Yeah. 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 That tells me I felt the something. same way. I know, that's right. <laughs> I felt you the know. same but way. But then you said, I'm going to look at the big picture here, yes. right? That's it. You got yes. to yes. stay yes. with the big yes. picture. Yes. Yes. It's kind of like get irritated and keep it moving. Absolutely. I mean, because at the ultimate goal, you ended up with a great mortgage yeah. payment. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, look, was, <laughs> when you came back with that number, I was like, oh, we doing this. <laughs> like, it was beautiful. Like, we really was proud. Yeah. What you laughing at? Yeah. I was really proud. We were. Uh, we were, yeah. Because I think at one time, uh, there was something else, and I was like, I don't know. I was like, well, maybe I can put it off the lady. She's like, what? No, we're moving <laughs> ahead. And I, because I do all the work, I'm going to do the work. So I was like, I got so many things going on. Yes. And she was like, no, well, we, you're going to have to drop them and do this <laughs> mm -hmm. so yes. we can move forward. And yep, I was like, absolutely. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you dangled that equity factor that she'll get into in front of them, right? <laughs> oh, to, keep them, to keep the main the thing the main thing. have been yeah. like, yeah, it's Good. It's, it's yeah. real, yeah. I, yeah. honestly, I, real good. So that I was refinance number one. Yes. yes. I just get Go ahead with number two. I, and yes. here comes refinance number two. Okay. 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 That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I was talking about yeah. the appreciation yeah. of the home. Yes. yes. Everything. I was, yeah. Yeah. I was outdone. Yes. And I'm the realtor. Right, right. Yes. You know, I, I, I was outdone. Yes. I just, pra yes. just praised the Lord and yes. still close to your church, of uh, course. Didn't have to move, do nothing, huh? Yeah. Uh-uh. He could tell you that. Yeah, because week. every time, you know, so when, once we did that and we did those projects, every time, you know, when you put into the house, your equity soars. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. You know, yes. and so then, uh, and going into when we went into COVID, uh, it was a true blessing for us to have the house. It became just the family's sanctuary to the be haven. in our house mm -hmm. during COVID, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and my wife works from home. Mm -hmm. So having that, it was just a total relief. So uh, the equity, every time we put into the house, of course, the equity goes up. So I wanted to do some more things that I wasn't able to Mm -hmm. uh, fit into the budget that time. Mm -hmm. And so I say, well, you know, uh, let's look at, call Diana. No, I was going to say, call Diana. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, call Miss Diana, need. let's see where we are. Yes, it is. Let's see, and she was like, okay, well, let me pull these things. And she came, you came back with the uh, <laughs> appraisal, mm -hmm. uh, the general appraisals in the area. Right. Of what, a speculative, this was what, it, what she was What did you guys for. think when you saw that? I was just going to say, can we do it on TV? We was like, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, are you going to take it? I was like, no, because that's not my thing. Yeah. I don't pull out everything. I don't mm -hmm. drain the yes. bank dry. Mm -hmm. I pull out just what we need to right. do to accomplish mm -hmm. the project. Yeah, right. I didn't go to the Bahamas or, no. you know, or to, you no. know, the Virgin no. Islands. Or, <laughs> but we can. Yeah, I know <laughs> that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, oh, yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. really, it, yeah. I'm telling you, the equity has really set us up and then even see the children, just yes. how they're just observing serving us and it's yeah. like mom and dad haven't changed anything mm -hmm. but yeah. things have changed yes exactly it's, it's well one thing i do do start to cut absolutely one thing i do do is i set my kids my son at the table mm -hmm. like nothing in my finances are off limit to mm -hmm. right because it, you know they need to know mm -hmm. you know like and even when i marriage like my son when uh he was getting married 
you know, uh, we had asked him, and I'm saying this as a reference, we had asked him, you know, are you going to receive the premarital counseling? Oh, yeah. He was like, Dad, I got the blueprint in front that's of me. You and Mom. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he's like, why would I do that? Yeah. Wow. And so that's wow. what I set that's up great. for them in, in our finances. There's nothing off limits in my finances that you can ask me. Uh, because I want you to mirror what I do. If I'm having some success, mirror my success, rebuke right. my failures. Right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so right. I set them down at the table. That's the financial literacy we're talking about. Exactly. He's exactly. from home. Okay. Yes. Exactly. okay. We're exactly. talking about yeah. trying to put it into schools yeah. and what have yeah. you, but yeah. they're schooled. Yeah. Yeah. They're schooled because they're in so your home. So they know how much money we take out. They know what we do. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. Projects. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes. You guys, we've got a couple of minutes and we've okay. got a few things we want to get. Okay. Get, you know, because we could talk to you guys. So question, um, what words of wisdom would you like to share about home ownership with others considering becoming a homeowner? You and your wife have to communicate and there has there can, you know, what I know she knows, mm -hmm. what she knows I know, mm -hmm. because you have to communicate in your finances in every area uh, of your of your of that trip or that experience because you all are going to dig into that where did this come from yes. how does yes. this work so you have to be open with each other you have to talk with each other don't as the old people don't hide no money in your wallets tell each other where the money is we've had the i've had the experience especially dealing with money right and mm -hmm. joint applications mm -hmm. where partners did not know what the, the what, um, mm -hmm. yeah, what the other wow. person had. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be the one sharing anything, mm -hmm. right? It's yes. a very awkward spot, mm -hmm. very good advice. And I know Janice the same when she's showing homes, yes. you know, the decision makers, mm -hmm. who's going to mm -hmm. live in the house mm -hmm. and like be together, yes. no matter what it is, yes. be together. Mm -hmm. um, what For those viewers who already own homes, what advice would you give them about the power of equity and and we've talked about this already, but do you have any other words um, briefly mm -hmm. about the um, power of equity? What would you say, I mean, like if you had to put a number on it, on a scale of one to 10, what would you say, what, how would you rate accessing your equity in terms of how it improved your quality of life? With one, not so much, and 10, extremely well. 10, extremely well, because the equity allows you to utilize any other finances for your living. Mm -hmm. And the equity, it can go for the home as well as your living. And I would just say, choose and use it wisely. Nice. Right, mm -hmm. use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like we need to wrap up. We have about oh, 16 gosh. minutes. We want to thank you guys so much. Wealth of thank knowledge. You. You've hit so many different you areas have. that we have thank talked you. about on our show. We may not have any other shows <laughs> because you guys have done it all and said it all. And God bless you blessing. and thank you. Thank and you so much. Congratulations Absolutely. on your two grandchildren. Thank and you. Thank, thank you yes. again. The listening audience, we thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. Have a great day.